More than three million of us are currently enrolled to vote in the upcoming general election. Many will be voting for the first time, but with the inclusion of two referendums, the End of Life Choice Act and the Cannabis Legislation, Legalisation and Control Bill, it's not just politicians vying for our attention. So how well do we understand what's being asked of us? While well, Alex Perite and cameraman Nick Monroe popped into David Seymour's Epsom electorate, where they got schooled by a bunch of rookies. Life-changing decisions are just around the corner for many New Zealanders, young and old. So it's not the time for playing around. Thousands of the country's freshly minted first-time voters are still at school. The Electoral Commission has sent out material to voters and also sent its staff to schools to ensure that eligible Year 13 students are registered to vote. So we thought we'd visit Auckland Grammar here in David Seymour's electorate of Epsom to see if students here know what questions they have to answer. Well, there should be four. You've got your, um, your uh, local, uh, you've got your party, and then you've got the two referendums. Well, there's two referendums, aren't there? So they're asking about the marijuana and the end-of-life choice. Uh, should we legalise euthanasia and should we legalise weed? Will it be four? So we've got the party vote, the electric vote, the marijuana referendum and the um, euthanasia referendum, the end-of-life bill. So referendums are for legalisation of recreational cannabis and for legalisation of assisted euthanasia. What are they asking you to choose regarding cannabis? Um, whether or not it should be legal uh, recreationally for like people who are of a certain age and under certain circumstances. What age is it, do you know? I've actually forgotten. It's 20. Okay. So 20 years old, you can, you can legally smoke marijuana. Is that a good thing? Um, I think that it's not necessarily a good thing to smoke marijuana, but I think it's a good thing to have it legal so then you can regulate and stuff because people are doing it anyway. So may as well you know, make it more safe and for everyone. What are they asking you about weed? They're asking if we should move, move it from a, a drug that is legal to a, a regulated substance that you can buy as just a, a member of the public. Is it recreational use and you can carry up to a certain amount, I can't remember how much, and then can you grow two plants within your own home or something? I'm pretty sure it's the um, what, 14 grams over 20, if that should be, that's what they're proposing anyway um, for sale and also I think it's two plants per person and four each household or something like that? Two per person and four per household. So you've read up on this? Yeah, I got the pamphlet about it. And you, you sat down and had a good read? I, 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 had a little, I had a little look through it. How many people your age do you think do that? Get all the information in the mail, open it up, sit down and read it? Not enough, to be honest. I, I, I'm kind of worried about. I'm kind of worried about that, to be honest. These scholars are serious. They had no warning we were coming to see them today. But lucky for us, they were happy to interrupt their meeting with a Reserve Bank chairman to make some time to enlighten us on their very considered views. What do you think about cannabis? I'm not a huge fan of cannabis. <laughs> um, I think that New Zealand's got a bit of a problem already with alcohol. I think that I understand the reasons why people might want to legalise marijuana. You've got, you know, trying to crack down on illegal supplies and so on and so forth, but I think it's just adding to the problem that we've already got here. If I were to vote tomorrow, I'd probably vote for. I just think that if it is controlled and policed reasonably strictly, then it does take the power out of the black markets. I think it's a tough one. Uh, I know at the moment, you know, drink, uh, drink driving is a massive issue, driving under the influence. I know that we don't really have an easy way to test for cannabis in the system, and that's something that, you, you know, road deaths are a huge issue, um, so you really want to keep an eye on that. What about euthanasia? Euthanasia is a bit of a tricky issue. Um, obviously, we don't want people to be suffering, but that being said, there are some important ethical questions to be asking. The limits that are being drawn in this particular referendum, for example, for example, terminal illness, you've got about six months of life left, 18 and over, you know, New Zealand permanent resident or citizen. These lines that are being drawn, you know, you've got an unbearable suffering or, you know, there's a very low possible, no possibility of improvement. You need to also be asking the important ethical questions that, you know, who's drawing these lines? Are these the only lines that we can draw? You know, is this a, is it a grey area or is it black and white? So a lot of do you think, is it grey? It is a grey area, obviously, because suffering by its very nature is not an absolute. I think that should definitely be legal as well. You know, um, give people back their dignity 
and if someone's in pain, you know, they should have the option to put themselves out of it. What this euthanasia bill really does give is it gives people dignity. You don't want people having to put themselves in a position where they have to end their life in a way that doesn't give them, in a way that's painful or that someone else has to, you know, deal with it. It's sort of trying to lessen the burden of that passing on to the wider society. So down the road in Newmarket's Broadway, it's time to ask the general public whether they too have done their homework on the referendum questions. Do you know what they are? I have no idea. <laughs> have you received um, election material in the mail? Uh, I got a voting paper. Um, I think that's pretty much all I've got. Just checking that your address is the correct one. Yeah, and all yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. So you will vote on election day? Uh, yes, I will. <laughs> I do think that it's probably um, important for um, medicinal use. There seems to be a lot of evidence. Now you know that this elections, this this cannabis choice is not about medicinal use, but recreational use. Oh, I don't really know that, but <laughs> but I'm hoping one leads to the other. So what are the two other questions you're going to be asked at the ballot box? One's about uh, cannabis, and the other one was I should know this. Um, no, I can't from me at the moment. You've got, you've got 50 per cent on the exam at yeah, the moment. That's not good. No, no. Uh, euthanasia. Oh, of course, yeah. 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 So there are two. That's one right. on euthanasia and one on cannabis. That's great. 100 per cent. Well done. Right. Great. So, uh, any idea of how you might vote? Definitely. I have my, yes, I've got my, I've sorted it all out, looked at all the literature, and I've decided on which way I'm going to vote. What about the two referendum questions? Do you know what they are? Not really. Can you believe it that I don't follow the politics, but I know who I'm going to vote. Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. referendum and the uh, oh, memory Drugs. loss. Drug. <laughs> Drugs. Uh, yeah. Drugs. Marijuana. Drugs. Marijuana and yeah. euthanasia, yeah. Passable, but some might want to get back home and look at those Electoral Commission flyers. But fully informed or not, these punters seem to know which way they're going. Medicinal marijuana, I agree with because it helps pe with people with pain and things like that. But the normal smoking of marijuana, I don't believe in smoking at all anyway. Probably leaning towards voting yes on both of them. If you ask me, both of them should be legal. Both of them should be legal? I would say both of them legal. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and why is that? Um, because if they make the marijuana uh, legal, it would be less crime. I believe, and also it's good. It has some health uh, beneficial effect on it, so why not? With cannabis, I still don't believe that there is... I believe that there is a health issue to it, and that's why I'm voting against it. Cannabis, I probably will go no, and euthanasia, I'll go yes. So if it's just memory loss, or if you're a little hazy on the detail, here it is one more time. Firstly, for cannabis... Two plants per person max of four per household and other stats such as that, like over over 20, I think the age was. Yeah, um, and a certain number of grams, I think 14 off the top of my head. And what are they asking you about with euthanasia? Um, that's the one looking at over 18, uh, six months out of a terminal illness, uh, in extreme pain or suffering in a good frame of mind, or, uh, acceptable frame of mind for it. And a final message to the public that there is still time and the information is readily available. Where did you get the information from? Um, you've got referendum.gov.nz, I think, so that's got some pretty good stats on there. Are you worried that a lot of people won't be, uh, won't be informed voters? Yeah, they're, they're sort of walking and just check whatever they feel like on the day. Uh, you know, they don't know what they're, really, what they're really voting for. For Checkpoint, Alex Perrottet.